Okay, back with the definitive answer. I installed the shifter on the Tramac TKX in the forward position, and we are able to get through all of the gears without removing this. So uh, the backstory here is some guys reported, depending on your configuration, having to cut this out. Probably no harm done cutting it out if you're not racing this thing or whatever. Um, but obviously, if you can leave it, you'd like to. And so I got this. Uh, this shift lever came with the kit, but there's also a shorter billet aluminum one that came. It's actually probably the one I'll actually use. Um, anyway, here's first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and reverse. There we go, in reverse. So um, then plenty, there's plenty of room. It looks close on the camera, but is actually plenty of space there. So, so no problem. Definitely do not need to cut that cross member out. And the tunnel cover also fits, if we put that on there, uh, except it will need to be trimmed just a little. Um, see they're hitting it just a little bit right there. But uh, all in all, good job Factory 5. So the definitive answer is if you have a Gen 3 Coupe and a Gen 3 Coyote and the TKX, which you should have a TKX if you're buying right now, the TKO has been replaced by the TKX. Nothing wrong with the TKO, but this is the, the new and improved version of the TKO. So it'll all fit just fine. Uh, props to Factory 5. By the way, the TKX came with this plug in the end, and the instructions said very clearly, do not remove it, just push it in, because they worry you would damage the rear seal on the transmission if you tried to pull it out. But I couldn't push it in for anything, I even tried looping it up a little bit. So I just very carefully pulled it out. I'm sure I didn't damage that rear seal. So there you go the seal so so everything's in looking good very tight fit uh, especially over here as you can see and so it's a win on the cross member you got to take your wins where you get them because you're gonna have some losses too like breaking that starter relay that's it